Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So Stephen Francis did another sit down interview, this time after the Jamaican trials. And he was asked, you know, the same question is asked pretty much every year after the trials since one Elian Thompson hero left his camp. However, this time around in comparison to his opinions back then or his feelings back then, they have drastically changed in 2024. And I can't really say I was expecting this leading into 2024. But after he did an interview leading into the trials, I started to think, hmm, I'm getting the feeling that Stephen Francis may be open, you know, to coaching Elian Thompson here again. And that was a very interesting um, vibe that I got to know. He did, you know, say in an interview when he was talking about the lengths that he went to to ensure that Kishane Thompson was able to train and, you know, go all the way to Australia to get this one particular machine. I did find it interesting that during, you know, him talking about this, he said, which is why when some people leave, they don't realize how good they had it here, right? So clearly when he said that, in my opinion, he was alluding, you know, to Elaine Thompson here and the current situation that she's now facing where she's not able to remain fit long enough to train, right? Or is breaking down, you know, more often than not, right? Under other, you know, coaches here in Jamaica. So he did another interview. Um, and this time around, again, he had some more interesting things to say as it relates to, you know, what his thoughts are in Elian Thompson here. I'm going to let you guys take a listen to what Stephen Francis had to say. And then I'm going to get back with the rest of my thoughts. I don't think Elian has reached the end. I think that Elian, Elian's body cannot hold up to most of the methods, the, the, the methods of 99.9% .9 of the coaches in Jamaica because they rely on a lot of natural uh, versus mechanical right? and Elaine's body cannot deal with those kind of things right um, I mean I think personally that if, if she were to ask me <laughs> what she should do I would tell her to go to somewhere in the States, right, and train because I don't think that she's going to be able to survive using the methods we should use out here to try and get her to, 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 to top speed. I mean, she can't fit in at, at MVP because MVP right now has too much talent, which is a priority. But. You know, that is what I would tell her. But I don't think she's done. It will be difficult. I mean, I have, I have a lot of sympathy for Elaine. It's hard to coach somebody for, for, for over 10 years and, and not develop some, some kind of bond. And I don't like to see what is happening to her now. Right? Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to say the priority we have right now is that we have a lot of young girls. Right? Between nine, we have a potential superstar as, as young as 18 and we have them going up to 20, 21, 22 and so those are the priority we have right now along with the older ones right so I don't know if it is possible for us to to bring in somebody of that stature but as I said I would certainly suggest to her what she should do so the answer is no you would take her back I, I, we will never say no but it will be difficult to see it happening at the moment which is a better answer than what I gave you last time. <laughs> all right, so Chuck is that was Stephen Francis. So pretty much he's saying most of the coaches, if not all, except himself, you know, can train Elaine Thompson here. And, um, well, based on what we've seen so far, um, can't say that he's wrong. Um, we've seen himself and the only one I would probably try to throw into the pile along with him is a Shaniki Osborne because we've seen her successfully able to get um, Elaine Thompson to run fast, even though we know she breaks down quite frequently. She did have some successes there, right? So what pretty much, long story short, is it seems as though, you know, he, if Elaine Thompson here did ask, maybe up to, you know, coaching Elaine Thompson here again. Now, 
track is stranger things have happened, you know, in the past. So I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, Elaine Thompson here is never, ever going to ask um, Stephen Francis to be coached there again. I, we've seen relationships break down between parties already. And then, you know, they're able to come back together, right? So with that being said, third parties sometimes believe that, oh, it will never, ever, ever happen. And <laughs> it's quite interesting, you know, seeing here that in 2024, Sir Francis seems, you know, very much open, though based on his slate, as he did indicate, he has a lot of youngsters right now, a lot of young, talented people that are coming through. So he has, you know, pretty much too much on his plate to try to take on a superstar like an Elaine Thompson hero, but he's not saying no in the same breath. So even though he's saying, hey, I'm pretty much jam-packed over here with the likes of Tia, Tina, and so many other, you know, youngsters that are coming up as well as, you know, the other seniors that are already there, he's still, you know, essentially not saying no. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what happens, you know, in future months if indeed we do see elaine thompson here gravitate back towards um stephen francis because as i said we've seen stranger things happen so i'm not going to be sitting here and saying oh elaine thompson here will never say um yes who am i i'm not you know involved in this situation at all and at the end of the day elaine thompson here has to know what is best for her as well and make her decisions going forward he did also indicate as well that if elaine thompson here was supposed to ask him what's the best option or best choice to go overseas and train so that's also one of the options that Stephen Francis put on the table he says based on how the coaches train here in Jamaica they will not be able to keep Elaine Thompson here healthy enough so that she can actually train right so that's quite interesting in my opinion no again i've been talking to you guys about using you know sports science and sports medicine you know in recent live videos and i've been indicating that hey um i don't get the vibe that our jamaican coaches utilize that much you know during training right and i was you know making a direct comparison between american coaches and the systems that they have in place as well in terms of being able to you know keep their athletes um professional athletes because it's a professional sport you know so keep their professional athletes healthy year in year out right i've been speaking to this why is it that you know in other sports athletes also do get injured the, the basketballers the footballers they also do get injured but the recovery time you know happens much quicker than in athletics you know say in jamaica because we are not using these particular systems, right? So St. Francis is like, it may be best um, to go to the United States of America, but he's also not, you know, counting himself out as well because when he was asked, would you be up to it? He's saying, you know, I would refer her overseas, but at the same time, I'm not going to say no on my end as well. So guess what? It seems as though there's probably things happening in the background that we know nothing about. Maybe Elaine in Thompson here has actually, you know, made a move to mend fences um, with Stephen Francis in the background because he did seem hurt, you know, in previous years. I'm not going to, you know, pretend I didn't see the hurt um, from Stephen Francis in terms of how she left. You know, the bond he said he developed with an Elaine Thompson hero over the years of coaching her. He definitely did seem hurt um, in those previous responses. So it's going to be very interesting to see now how things, you know, progress forward. I'm just, again, getting the vibe that things are happening in the background that we may not necessarily be privy to right now in the future. So if you see certain things happening, you know, in the future, I wouldn't suggest you guys be surprised as well because we are on the outside, you know, looking in pretty much. So with that being said, I'm interested to also know y'all's thoughts now. Um, based on this, you know, recent interview with Stephen Francis, what do you think? Um, do you think that Elaine Thompson here should bite um, the bullets and just go say, hey, can we, you know, work this out? You know what I mean? Should she stick with Ronaldo Walcott and whatever system he has in place? Or should she consider going overseas? I'm always scared with the overseas option, though I do appreciate the systems in place. I do find, you know, that it's hard sometimes for athletes to really find that coach that works well with them, you know, overseas. So I'm not really a fan of it, though I do, you know, respect um, all the systems that they have in place. But certainly, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.